Goes. All right, drivers behind the line. Let's get this match started in three, two, one, go. And we're underway in autonomous here. Qualification 23, 94, 96. Picking up notes from the center line, passing them into their wing. And 29, 10, shooting notes long distance from that center line, from near that center line. Red Alliance with the lead, 31 to 26. 29-10, cleaning up the Red Alliance side of the field. Some pass notes coming down the field from the Crusaders and East Palo Alto Cherobots. 6-94. Oh, no. 44-99. Stuck underneath the Blue Alliance stage. They free themselves and are back in commission for this Red Alliance. 43 to. 35 now in favor of the Blue Alliance. 29-10, looking to change that. Bumping up against the stage, picking up a note, scoring in an amplified speaker. Make that two. Can they make it three? Yes, they can. Oh, not quite. It bounces out. Last second, 45-50 to 50 in favor. Now tied, a dead heat. The Blue Alliance is amplified. Stiples have scored two notes in that amplification period. That's going to pull this Blue Alliance ahead even further. But now it's just... A six point difference. Six nine four at the Blue Alliance Am. Cleaning up as their partners pass down notes from that source. 42 70. 80 48. Doing an excellent job passing so far, as is 94 96. Keeping Jack in the Bot fed. Trying to pull ahead now is the Red Alliance. Jack in the Bot. Trying to make it a four for one special. Can they get a perfect amplification period? Yes, they can. But that's still not enough to pull them ahead of the Blue Alliance. Six points. The spread now just over 30 seconds left. 29-10, stealing a note from the Blue Alliance source. Ready to amplify once again. We are now tied, folks, as the Red Alliance has an amplification period. What is the Blue Alliance going to do to respond? 694 lined up, sending a shot in. They need to score two notes in this amplification period to pull ahead, but 694, 4270, both gonna go climb. Red Alliance continuing to cycle. As time expires. Tough break for 694 at the end, trying to get up on that chain. Looks like they were having some issues with the motor. It was trying to lift, just couldn't quite get there. Unfortunately, I think Blue's gonna miss out on the RP due to that. And the scores are in for that match. It's a close one, folks. It's your Red Alliance taking it 107 to 104. Both alliances picking up the melody bonus. And now it's time for RSN to take us through that match. A very close match there. Both alliances missing the ensemble RP in the endgame. Uh, but, man, Red looked like they were behind for most of that match and then squeaked back up for a victory. Mason, uh, why don't we watch that match again? Yeah, it's so nice. Let's watch it twice. Let's go down to our replay booth. We're going to watch this match at a little bit of fast-forward speed. And right from the beginning, you see the Red Alliance takes a big win up here, uh, getting pulling ahead, and Blue Alliance then closes out not far behind. Blue Alliance takes an early lead here as they employ a strategy with the Churro Crusaders being able to both pass forward to 694 Disciples, who is just one, two, three, cleaning up down here. This match looks like it's tight, and this is really where the Red Alliance starts to struggle. 2910 has a broken note that is just plaguing them twice, maybe three times in this matchup. So watch this note here. Anyone who touches it is just going to have a lot of trouble trying to score it. And that's one of the difficulties with this game piece. The Blue Alliance really starting to pull ahead. They get so many that they send multiple robots down here to keep scoring and start loading up. But... 2910 Jack in the Box. Do not count them in. They turn it over into Hyperdrive at this point and just start pulling these notes into the speaker. 
score after score. It looks like they won't be able to come back, but blue is just void of all notes here as we get towards the end of the game, and their scoring really stagnates, while 29-10 is still just cranking those scores out. And this, here's where it gets a little bit crazy. Blue Alliance, robots up in the air, red alliance, where are they? If they don't get there soon, we're going to be in trouble. But you know how the scores ended out. So let's take a chance to look at our next match. Yeah, next match coming up in match number 24. We have a high-powered Blue Alliance here. Uh, the PNW District winners, Mechanical Advantage Division winners, and then 581, who uh, I believe won uh, one of their uh, regional events this year. Um, and that is going to be a lot of firepower for that Red Alliance to try to control. Um, a mechanical advantage actually sitting in the number two ranked position here at Chessie Champs. Um, so we're going to head down to the field for introductions for match number 24.